Alright friends and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. I'm Christina aka That Variety Nerd and today we are kicking things off with our brand new, that is correct, brand new WWE Champion Samoa Joe. And Samoa Joe, well, we're not sure what the new WWE Champ is going to say here tonight, but I'm quite excited to see what's going to happen. But also equally terrified, but we had a lot go down at Royal Rumble. If you want those results, those will be in the description down below. But let's see what Samoa Joe has to say here tonight. Shall we? I think so. Cut the music. I'm sick and damn tired of all this crap going on in the WWE. I'm ready to bust someone's teeth in right now, and I don't care if I have to step over the barrier to shut you idiots up myself. Tonight is not the night to piss me off. Here's the truth, and you all know it. I'm the greatest superstar this business has ever produced, bar none, and I have no problem proving that right here in this very ring. I don't think a lot of the idiots in the locker room can say the same. Oh, Mr. John Cena, the former WWE Champion, of course, making his presence felt right here. But will he make his way down to the ring here tonight? Well, we're going to find out in just a second, of course. Samoa Joe and John Cena in the last episode, which was part five of Royal Rumble. These two had a pretty epic clash, if I do say so myself. They've got... They... They, went, they brought it. They brought it, and I don't think any of us would be mad if we got them another round. Maybe that's what John Cena's here for, you know, to invoke that rematch clause, or, you know, confront Samoa Joe for calling everybody idiots, possibly. Well, we're about to find out, aren't we? Well, John Cena is here. He has arrived to confront Samoa Joe. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying Joe's name like that. But here we are. We've also got some fun announcements to share as well as we progress throughout the episode as well. You really need to stop talking right now. All you're doing is damaging the minds of the WWE Universe, although considering your in-ring skills, you hurt more on that mic. It's a shame your matches aren't fought with words. It doesn't matter what you say because your words are meaningless. You're just trying to huff and puff and make yourself look better at my expense. Spoiler alert, it's not going to work. You're not going to win this one just like you didn't win at Royal Rumble. Let me give you a little history lesson. Maybe you haven't been paying attention, but I'm kind of good at this. I've seen a lot of superstars just like you who think they've got it all figured out. Guess what? They didn't, and you don't. So you've got two choices, either man up or chicken out. There's literally zero reason in the world for me to fight you. Why would I do something like that? I gain nothing from fighting you since I just beat you. You're so beneath me on the totem pole that I can't take you seriously right now. But maybe I'll make an exception. I'd say this was a disappointing experience for me, but the truth is, when it comes to dealing with you, disappointment is just the status quo. Look, this is going to stink of disappointment to you, but I just got word before I came out here that my rematch clause was invoked, and we are having that rematch tonight, so bring, so bring it, Samoa Joe, just bring it. You have no right to tell me what to do. If I want to have a match with you, I will when I'm ready. The truth is that... You're the one who should think twice before stepping in the ring with me. Maybe one day you'll smart up and realize I have been and always will be superior to you when I beat you tonight and retain my WWE Championship. The ball is in your court. It's always in your court because I have nothing to prove. I just want to get my WWE Championship back. You want to step up and make a name for yourself, then you take your shot anytime. But don't sit around waiting for me to give you an opportunity. You want something bad enough, then you come and you take it. Just like I'll take my WWE Championship back tonight. Oh my god, we actually had a civilized start to the show. That's pleasant. But friends, we are getting Cena versus Joe round two tonight for that WWE Championship. This should be quite interesting. Oh no, friends. We've got not one, but two championship rematches coming up here tonight. I mean, we've reached episode number 60. I think that's a pretty decent little milestone that we have reached, all things, all things considering, right? I mean, we've only been at this universe mode for several months now, and we've reached episode number 60. So, you know what? Why not give you all a couple of championship matches? Only this time we have an Extreme Rules match on our hands to kick things off here on SmackDown Live. So, welcome back to universe mode. I'm Christina, a.k.a. That Variety Nerd. We're doing the thing. We've got episode number 60 on our hands. We have the Intercontinental Championship on the line here in this opening matchup. And we've got the start of the tag team tournament, or the men's tag team tournament, I should say. I say that because starting in a few episodes time after our next pay-per-view event, 
we will have a women's tournament to determine the first ever women's tag team champion. So I figured, you know what, in this whole situation that we've got on our hands, we need to put more attention on our tag teams. So we've crafted 16 tag teams for the men's side of things. I think we've got eight for the women's side of things, but I could be super wrong as well. We'll have to triple check on that, but that is what is happening. So, as per usual, grab your snacks, grab your choice of beverage. We've got a exciting round of television happening here on Universe Mode. You know what? Randy Orton's like the one person who's gotten like both the titles so far. He had the WWE Championship and he has the Intercontinental Championship. And for some reason this works. I'm like, okay, that's cool. So there we have it. This is gonna be this feud has been bubbling. And I'm I'm here for it. The better question is who walks out with the Intercontinental Championship, you know, to wrap up this feud, hopefully moving forward, and then of course what will happen in the main event. Well we have a new WWE champion. Who knows what's gonna happen, but what I do know is this. We are going to have quite the Extreme Rules match on our hands. I have some iced coffee in my disposal this afternoon. <laughs> I'm like, what time is it? It's 3.15 in the afternoon when I'm filming this on a Sunday. Oh my goodness gracious. But here we go. Let's just get right to, friends. Let's just... Okay, that was a sudden cut. Alright, Kevin Dunn. What, what, are you, what are you up to, my dude? <laughs> it was so sudden. I'm like, what is happening? All right, let's get right to the match, friends. There she is, the Intercontinental Championship. That's what's on the line here tonight. And much to viewer requests, we are keeping the indicators on at the bottom so that we can keep track of everybody and everything. But Trent Seven right out of the gate against Randy Orton. Oh, huge suplex of sorts. Counter from Morton. Counter from Seven. Like, this is a matchup that I never knew that we were going to get, really. Well, I mean, to be fair, they kind of feuded in our past Universe Mode season. Actually, around this time, too. But for a very different title, of course. But either way. We had a lot go down at Royal Rebel. We have a slew of new champions across all the shows. Some got retained, some changed. We got our Rumble winners all situated, so that's quite nice. But we've got 12 episodes of SmackDown left until WrestleMania. And we've got a couple of specials along the way as well. Uh, we're still trying to figure out what we're going to have as our next show. I'm trying to get some kind of maybe a Hell in a Cell type of situation. I think that might be interesting. Or even Backlash. You know, something a little filler for a filler show. Oh, Orton's got the chair, but Trent Seven countered. German suplex! Oh no, Trent's got the chair! Orton countered, Orner, Orton countered. Where was I going? Where was I going with that? Huge move right there from Orton. Huge kick to the back. Orton now bringing back Trent 7 inside the squared circle. Huge counter right there. Oh, and a huge strike right to the back. My apologies right there if you heard that. <laughs> oh. Huge suplex right there into the cover. Could this be it? And a two count. Oh, Seven might have it here. He might have it. He might have it. He might have it. Oh, and a kick out from Randy. Barely a two count as we just saw, though. I swear, the only championship that has not played hot potato has been the Cruiserweight Championship. So Brownie points to Ricochet for, like, holding down the fort for one of these titles. <laughs> I mean, Randy might be able to change course here. Who knows? Oh no, Randy. Randy, what are you up to? Randy! 
Oh no, he's got a sledgehammer. Oh no! Oh god. Oh! The counter. Oh, counter right there from Orton. Oh, and an RKO! Could this be it for Tread 7 here? Oh, and 7 kicked out. Oh my god, oh my god! Do you all see where the position of that sledgehammer is? I am concerned. I am concerned! I am the sledgehammer! <laughs> I used to think of uh, I oh hang on oh we got a German here we got a German he's hanging on oh no when I think of a sledgehammer I used to think of Triple H for the longest time because that was like his thing and then later on in life I started thinking of the song <laughs> we wouldn't try to sing it but you know copyright's a thing seriously you can get copyright for singing a song. Because of the lyrical content being copywritten and stuff. Oh no! Oh no! Right on the back of the... Oh, right on the sledgehammer. We're now going in for the cover. And seven kicks out right at two. This is just the first match, dude. This is the first match. Oh no. Oh! Seven ducked. Oh, right to Orton. Gonna, he might have it here. He might have it here. Oh, man. They kind of hit the sledgehammer like on the wooden part of it. And Randy kicked out. Y'all, I don't know what we're watching here. And it, it, This is just the first match. I mean, we've got to be strong with episode number 60. I feel like that's fair. Oh no, Randy, what are you up to? Oh, and a huge back suplex from the Viper. Orton now going in for the cover. Is that just like a Randy Orton exclusive pin sort of thing? Because I haven't seen that from anybody ever. Oh no, what's Orton up to here? Oh no, right up against the ropes. Huge strike from Orton. Oh no, he's got that sledgehammer again. <laughs> when we go to post this, we're probably going to share the song for reference. If you're not familiar with the song, we'll bring it up for reference. But man, how many times has he been hit with that sledgehammer? We, we might need to get some medical professionals up in here. If, if Orton's going to keep on to this Intercontinental Championship, we are screwed. We are, we are inherently screwed. Huge DDT from the middle rope. That almost hit the sledgehammer, too. We need a counter. How many times have we said sledgehammer in this match? <laughs> how did Trent Seven kick out? How did the- how? After everything he has been put through in this match. How is- how is he still in this match? Oh no, Randy, what are you doing? Randy, what are you doing? Oh no. I I don't like where this is going, friends. Oh god, right from the top rope. Oh my god. And Randy we're now going for going for the cover after a superplex. Okay, so seven sledgehammer shots and two RKO's don't put away Trent Seven, but his superplex does. But, like, wait, wasn't his dad, like, wasn't that, like, his finisher or something? Maybe that was a bit of a callback or something, but god dang, this match. Randy Orton's got the IC title. We are screwed. <laughs> that whole roster is screwed. Actually, no, maybe Randy's gonna be the one to hold down the fort on this title for once, because we, ha we keep seeing it change hands ten times. So, Randy's got something going <laughs> I keep saying it like Riddle does over on Raw. Randy! <laughs> it's not on purpose neither, but god dang Randy! Randy's got no chill! This has been insane. 
What a match we just saw, though, friends. What an opening match we just had. What's going to be next for Randy Orton? What's next for Trent Seven? Who knows? But we got to keep things moving, friends. All right, friends. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The first match in our tag team tournament is about to get underway right here. We have Jeff Hardy, the Royal Rumble winner, and a team right here tonight. I'm, I'm excited for this tournament. We got the Women's Tag Tournament coming up, hopefully in a few episodes time. That one's an eight-team tournament because, you know, we're spread a little thin, but we were able to concoct some intriguing teams, some that we didn't know that we possibly needed, some that make sense in the story, some already existing tag teams, and some that could just make some kind of sense. And the thing is that it's not necessarily for a title per se. It's, you know, the classic cup, you know, how they do the Dusty Cup and NXT. That's kind of what it is here. So who knows what will happen. We're going to see what happens. It's going to take some time for us to get there. So that's why if we don't see much of the women's division in the next few episodes, we'll make up for it in a few episodes' time. Because we, we care about the women's division, but we need to care a little bit about the tag team division just as much. But the winner of this matchup here will go on to take on the winner of either of the Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn versus Drew McIntyre and Sheamus match. But who will Jeff Hardy be teaming up with? We're about to find out, friends. Oh, this is a bit of a dream team. This is a dream team. All right, man, they might be they might be in good hands here. I mean, you've got Ricochet, who's holding down the goddamn fort in the cruiserweight division, because he only lost it once to Umberto Carrillo in their stretch of matches, right? And then he got it back, so... Ricochet, of course, having a big win at Royal Rumble as well, carrying some momentum as he defeated Tyler Bate to retain the championship. And of course, Jeff Hardy won the goddamn Royal Rumble in like the most satisfying Royal Rumble ending here on this channel. <laughs> Seriously, it was genuinely satisfying. But we'll have the bracket for the men's tournament. And then once we get closer to the women's tournament, which should be after the next pay-per-view event, then that's what we'll do after that. We'll upload it at that point. So leave your predictions down below as to who will win this tournament and that sort of thing. So, that being said, we're going to move onward and upward. Let's see who they're taking on here tonight. Oh, we got the Dream Team, and of course, we have the brand new Universal Champion in the building here tonight. Of course, Pete Dunne defeating AJ Styles at Royal Rumble for the strap. You know, even though the title is red and just not great looking, like Pete somehow makes it work. We appreciate Peter Dude in this household. <laughs> we truly do. We appreciate Pete. I, I hope this becomes a reality at some point. Ideally not with the red strap. <laughs> I mean, if so, I would probably fix it to where it'd be like a black strap with like the like red center or something. That could work. We might be onto something there, but you know, it's about the champion and how they roll with the championship, right? You know, that sort of thing. But Pete Dunne has quite the interesting partner as well for this tournament. This this is gonna be this is gonna be something else, friends. This is gonna be, if this episode's long, I'm okay with it because it's episode number sixty. It's just a stacked show. It's a freaking stacked show. And of course, any and all community creation stuff is in the comments down below. Not in the comments, the description down below, and that sort of thing. But we've got Cesaro, the United States Champion. Poor Jeff Hardy, he doesn't have a championship, but he's the Royal Rumble winner. So, I mean, that kind of evens out. So, without further ado, let us continue onward and upward and into this matchup. Who will make it to the next round of the tournament? Well, let's find out. All right, we're starting off with Jeff Hardy and Pete Dunne, which is a very possible matchup that we could get because Jeff Hardy, of course, he won the Royal Rumble. We have... Samoa Joe is the WWE Champion. We have Pete Dunne as the Universal Champion. And over in NXT, Finn, Bal Finn Balor still has the NXT Championship. So just so that we're all on track. And anything can happen between now and WrestleMania as well. So Jeff doesn't need to make a decision until... I mean, if he wants to do it the day of Mania, he could do that. That's not ideal, of course, but it's a thing. 
But I mean, this is kind of a dream team that we got on both sides. You have Pete and Cesaro. You know, they've got that European style to them. And you've got the high-flying style to con like, contrast that with Jeff and Ricochet. And you have a meeting of two eras with Ricochet and Jeff Hardy there. So it makes an interesting tag team situation. Jeff Hardy, of course, being a tag team specialist on his end as well. So he knows. He knows how to win a tag team tournament. What a huge maneuver right there from Ricochet and Hardy. I feel like we need to keep tabs on these... Uh, Universal and NXT title matches more often, just in general. We should add one of the two titles onto our show, just because we're really going to be needing some matches going ahead. And some of the tournament matches will be on the pay-per-view, just so that we're clear. Because one, we need matches, but two, like, it makes sense, because some of the bigger matches deserve, like, a big spotlight. This match could have been one of them, but we randomly generated them. To a certain extent. We had to move a couple around for storyline purposes and so forth, but here we are. Pete done with the sunset flip. Hardy with the counter. Done with another flip. Oh, but Hardy. Oh. Man, okay. This, this is just going to be interesting. I want to see what happens, to be honest. <laughs> oh. Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy. <laughs> Did you hear my voice just there? Hardy. <laughs> you got to make fun out of yourself every once in a while. Oh, Hardy. <gasps> he hit the twist of fate on Pete Dunne. Y'all, I am sweating over here. I Thank God Fall is showing up very soon. Oh, and Pete kicks out at one. The Bruiserweight and the Cyborg. Taking on Hardy and Ricochet. I, we need some tag team names. We really need some tag team names here. So if y'all got some tag team names for all the teams or some of the teams, leave those down in the comments down below because we're a channel that needs to give everybody a nickname. Okay, this is a match that I want to see. If we haven't gotten it already. This is a match that I need to see. <laughs> Ooh, we should do like Clash of Champions or something. You know, kind of like Survivor Series, except make it more fun. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Like, we'll have a mixture of dream matches. Oh, okay. We might be on to something now. Who am I kidding? <laughs> I had like the idea for the next pay-per-view of doing something huge cutter from Ricochet. Like, I had a huge idea, I tweeted about it a little bit ago, where we were trying to figure out the next pay-per-view, and it was just like, should we do, like, Hell in a Cell? What if we did, like, what TNA used to do, and have, like, a steel cage for every single match type of thing? But then I realized just how not fun that would be, like, visually. <laughs> so maybe we do a Clash of Champions, that could be fun. But the next pay-per-view after that will be an all-women's pay-per-view, so we've got... What's doing? We, we need to rework the schedule a little bit, but we need to make this work for it. We, we need to make it work. <laughs> we, need to, like, we need to make this work. <laughs> oh man, Ricochet and Cesaro? I mean, come on, that sounds good on paper. Like, I'm already inspired to get moving on this now. Oh man, Ricochet going after Cesaro into the cover. And a two count. Oh man, Zaro's got no chill now, too. Yeah, I think we'll have a couple of, like, crossover matches. I think that seems pretty reasonable. I mean, you know, one or two won't hurt a pay-per-view, right? I mean, this could easily set it up for this one, to be honest.
Oh, and Jeff Hardy and Pete Dunn are back in. Oh man, what's Jeff up to here? Oh, and a sunset flip power bob on to Pete Dunn. Hardy might have it here. Hardy might have it here. Oh man, and Pete Dunn kicks out. Oh man, Pete's got Jeff Hardy right where he wants him. Where is Cesaro going? Oh man, Cesaro's going right for Ricochet here. Zara's going for it. I think Pete just hit it. No, I don't think he did. Oh, Ricochet Cesaro, this matchup is breaking down real fast. This match is breaking down real fast. Oh, Ricochet is not looking too good here. Oh, and Dunn's got the fingers. Dunn's got the fingers. Oh, man. This is like a coordinated effort. I mean, look at this. I mean, to be fair, you have to be coordinated in a tag match, or at least I'd hope so at this point. Oh, and Pete. Pete Dunn. Dunn might have it here. Oh, my God. Jeff Hardy just kicked out, and Cesaro's still up the ramp a little ways. And Cesaro is just not letting go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Cesaro is just not letting up on poor Ricochet over here. Not at all. Oh my god. Poor Ricochet. What's Jeff up to in the ring? Oh, Pete Dunn counters. Oh, Ricochet counters. Oh, but Dunn, Dunn connects, Dunn connects. Ricochet is back up there. Can he get it in time? Oh, what a two count. What a show we are witnessing here. What a show. Oh, God. Ricochet's fighting back on the outside of the ring right here. Cesaro's got no chill on the outside of the ring. Oh, Hart, Jeff Hardy might be in trouble here. Oh, and Pete Dunn hits the bitter end. And Pete Dunn and Cesaro move forward, but I don't know if that's going to be the end of Cesaro versus Ricochet, friends. That just... That was brutal. That was brutal. But they'll be taking on either Drew McIntyre and Sheamus, or Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. <laughs> those two matchups alone, just thinking about the makeup of those matches, they're just not going to end well. But they're quite interesting. So without further ado, speaking of interesting, we got to go to our WWE Championship matchup. But Pete Dunne and Cesaro, they... I, I would not bet against this team after what we just saw, to be honest. All right, dearest friends, here we go. We've got John Cena versus Samoa Joe in the main event of what has been a very chaotic matchup, to say the least. Oh, my goodness gracious. But we do have it confirmed. We will have Ricochet versus Cesaro at Clash of Champions, which makes sense because, I don't know, they both have championships. I feel like that adds up, and that makes some kind of sense. But either way, we're, we're going to be in for quite a show. We'll also have the Usos versus the Street Profits for the tag team titles and a rematch. So there is that. Because, I mean, their, their, match ha their matches have been crazy. So we're going to have to see how it goes. We'll also have a couple of first round tournament matches, depending on how things go. And that sort of thing. So 
Without further ado, let's just keep things moving, friends. And here we go, friends. Oh my god, my voice just went out for a second. It's like, I swear, we're drinking a lot of fluids. <laughs> Christina, iced coffee is not a fluid. It is to me. We're hit, we have recreational coffee today in the sense of, like, it's Sunday. We don't drink coffee to wake up. But look at how good the title looks on Joe. Oh my god. This works so well. We appreciate you, Samoa Joe. We appreciate you. I mean, look at the caliber of the champions that we have right now. Samoa Joe, Pete Dunn, and Finn Balor over on NXT. What an episode that we've had so far, but friends, we've got Samoa Joe as WWE Champion, and I am nervous. <laughs> Between Joe and Randy, I'm nervous for everybody on that roster. <laughs> I feel like that's more than... We've got a pretty stacked, like, champions list, if you really think about it, between all the divisions and the money the bank holders and stuff like that. We've got a pretty stacked lineup, to be honest. I mean, you got the Street Profits as the tag champs. you got Paige as the women's champ still. We've got the dueling chance for John Cena right there, but there she is, the most prestigious championship in the industry, the WWE Championship. And here we go, we got Samoa Joe versus John Cena. Both of these competitors know each other quite well, as we just saw at Royal Rumble. And a very competitive matchup, I will say. And again, if this episode's longer, then so be it. Because we, we've earned it at this <laughs> We've earned it at this point. Oh, and John Cena with a huge strike to Samoa Joe. Man, let's see what happens here. Let us see what happens here. And Joe and Cena, they're both duking it out. Still pretty even, Stephen, but Joe, huge power bomb on a John Cena right here tonight. Smell what Joe. What's he up to here? He's just putting a beating on a John Cena, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, but John Cena mounting a comeback here. Oh, and a takedown! We don't see that from... We don't see that from Cena too often. You know what? I think out of a lot of the people on the roster, it, like, I think John Cena we've done a pretty decent enough job with because we've had some fresh matches with him and stuff like that. I think the way that we've had John Cena on here has probably been one of the strongest parts of Universe Mode so far. Like, not just from having John Cena on here, of course, but, like, just his presence and his role. So, there's that. I mean, I don't know. Let me know how you all feel in the comments, but, I mean, especially now that we've got Samoa Joe on our roster, I'm a, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> we're, a little, we're a little nervous here. Oh, what a huge strike from Cena onto Joe. Oh no, Joe is just like carrying Cena around like it's nothing. Oh, and Cena's right back up here. Oh, and Joe. Joe with the snapmare takedown onto John Cena right here. John Cena trying to roll through. John Cena gets out of the hold right there. Takes down Samoa Joe with a huge punch. John Cena in control now of this matchup. Trying to get some kind of offense in on the champ, which, you know, it's Samoa Joe. So, I mean, it's Samoa Joe. I don't know how much we would really mess around with that, if you will. Oh, and a huge power bomb from Cena to Joe. Oh no, what's Cena up to here? The five knuckle shuffle connects here tonight. John Cena now going for a count. And we get a two count here tonight. And we get a two count here tonight. 
Oh, Joe with the counter. These two have just been going at it all night here. Oh, no. <gasps> no! <gasps> Kevin Owens is cashing in? Kevin Owens is cashing in! Oh my god. Friends, Kevin Owens is cashing in. What is happening? Oh my god. Oh my god, we got a triple threat match now between Joe and... Cena and Owens, what is happening in this match? Kevin Owens, oh, but Joe with the knees up! Joe had the knees up! Cena's just out of it at this point. Oh! Stunner on Cena! Couldn't this be enough? <gasps> John Cena kicked out. Friends, Kevin Owens is cashed in in the middle of this match. We are getting Joe versus Cena versus Owens here tonight. This might be one of our best episodes, to be honest, just given how everything's going. Kevin, what are you doing, sir? Oh, God. Kevin, stop going to the top rope! Stop it. And now we got Cena and Joe battling it out. Cena's going for something here. Huge sunset flip power bomb right there. Cena now going for the cover on a very fresh Kevin Owens right here. Owens kicks out, not even a one count. Oh, and Joe might have it here. Joe might have it here. The Coquina clutch is locked in, and. Kevin Owens breaks things up. Oh, and Joe. What's Joe up to here? Oh, man. Huge takedown from Cena. Oh, caught up in the ropes right there almost. Oh, Cena's got... Cena's got Joe in the corner. Kevin Owens is starting to regroup a little bit. What is Cena up to? I, I don't like this. Kevin Owens has the right idea. Kevin Owens has the right idea, my dudes. <gasps> what a counter! Oh, and Joe breaks things up. And Kevin Owens hits Samoa Joe with the stunner this time. Cena's outside the ring. Oh my god, Kevin Owens, the redemption arc has been completed, essentially. The Kevin Owens redemption arc is in full swing here. Remember how Kevin Owens lost to John Cena in his cash-in the first time around? Kevin Owens won the Money in the Bank ladder match the second time. This time in a match with John Cena involved, but he didn't pin John Cena, but he got Samoa Joe. This is satisfying. But Kevin freaking Owens. What the, this shakes things up quite a bit. Kevin freaking Owens. Holy crap. You can just feel the excitement oozing out of Kevin Owens right here, but Kevin Owens, our brand new WWE Champion here on Universe Mode, friends. Let me know what you all thought about this matchup and Kevin Owens being the new WWE Champion down in the comments down below. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and all that good stuff here on the channel. And make sure to hit the bell button so that you get notifications. So, that note, thank you all so much for tuning in, and I will see you all around later. Bye, everyone.